should you get and build Fartooth? Short answer, probably yes. Long answer, this entire video. Red Pine Kishidan 所属。私のことは Fartooth って呼んで。Justin Valentine, the Far Tooth Knight, is a six-star dead eye sniper from Kazim Yesh, a competitive knight from Red Alpine Nightclub, and Bleed Me Shine missing partner from her preliminary match. After the events in the Kazim Yesh Major, the nightclub seek partnership with Rhodes Island, and Far Tooth came to receive treatment and providing battle support. This sniper, who seems to have a tray of an eagle in the coat of arms of Poland. Is the first six-star dead eye sniper in the game, and use a really menacing blade as a projectile. As a dead eye sniper, Far Tooth have a wide range, and will prioritize anyone who have the lowest defense. Moving to the general stats, since Far Tooth is the sixth star of the dead eye sniper, she has the biggest attack among them, and even she is currently a sniper with the biggest raw attack stats. But her HP is below Ambreland and Rena. Dead Eye sure have a big attack, but they also have a slow attack speed. But Far Tooth have a skill to fix that. As for her talents, her first talent, when no damage is taken after 10 seconds, she will increase her attack. It's a beneficial talent and easy to trigger. You just have to manage the deployment order. If there's no special enemy who might prioritize targeting her. And with her class plus her ability, Far Tooth is suitable to be placed far from where the fight is going. So it's really a good and easy to trigger talent. As for her second talent, whenever she use her skill, reduce her taunt level by one and ignore the target's physical dodge. The first effect of the talent help maintaining her first talent. If she somehow being targeted by enemy, but pretty much Far Tooth is the least operator to be targeted by enemy. Either because of her position from the enemy or deployment order, the second effect of the talent to ignore physical dodge is unique, but currently won't be much needed. There's only a few enemies with that ability, and ignoring their physical dodge is not always the only or the best option either. But this kind of ability might come in handy in future content, just in case we have an enemy equivalent to 12f's dodge. And this is Far Tooth Potential's upgrade list. Got a decent upgrade with that attack and talent improvement, but overall she's fine without one. And this is her module upgrade: increase her attack and attack speed, and add additional trait to increase her damage based on how far the enemy. Far Tooth have two skills that can extend her range, which will make triggering this module tray much more easier. Though the increased attack speed won't be that visible, but the increased attack is pretty nice. From my previous module tier list video, I will put Far Tooth on the top. It has high impact on her gameplay. Moving to her skills, her first skill: increase her attack and attack speed. A basic skill with a good uptime, but this skill won't make it easier for her to trigger her module tray because there's no extended range. As for her second skill. Far Tooth can attack enemies in any part of the map as long as they are blocked by allies, and also greatly increased her attack speed. At M3, her attack interval is now reduced to 1.2 seconds, temporarily deleting this archetype main problem: a slow attack speed. This skill is more or less similar with Ambriel skill too, and like Ambriel, this skill also have a drawback: while she can attack enemy outside of her range. Her priority remains targeting the one with the lowest death, although it's rare. But it can create an awkward situations where she will still attacking enemy in her default range, or attack enemy that are blocked by a lie while there's an ergot running to the blue box. And lastly, she got a massive attack speed, but there's no attack boost, which makes her other skill more preferable to kill enemy. But overall, it's a nice skill which can make you deploy far too thin any place. And as the skill name suggests, supporting a lie that are blocking enemies. Last but not least, her third skill: change her attack range to an infinite straight line, increasing her attack, 
and deal critical damage when attacking enemies outside of her default range. The skill also have a great uptime on M3. Her main skill to use to effectively increased her DPS. If attacking enemy outside of her default range. She can easily shred high def enemy like a shield from chapter 7. Or other bosses. But even though she can do that, she will still prioritize lowest def enemy. Which if there's multiple enemies in the line of your main target, she can fail to attack that target. Now I know this S3 of her is usually compared with Schwartz and her S3. Well simply put, Schwartz S3 is better to fight those higher def enemy. But Fartooth's S3 long range and cheaper SP cost will come in handy in a lot of strategy. For mastery of Fartooth skills, I suggest you go mastery and use her S3. It offers a range others can't offer. And overall a very high DPS if you can trigger her critical damage. The second option is her S2. But there's not much to upgrade to be honest. It's just a small amount of attack speed and duration. But her module tray and additional attack speed buff, or other buff like Caesar's talent. Her S2 at M3 can be very deadly. As for her base skills. Fartooth is an awesome contributor to Rhodes Island Landship. She can increase herself and others moral recovery in the dorm. And increases factory productivity by 25%. So, will Fartooth become a good operator for your team? A sniper that can easily attack enemy anywhere on the map. She's also a good DPS support with her skill too. And have an ability to shred some high def enemy. And thanks to her extended range skill 2, and skill 3, she can attack enemies that are not reachable by other operators. But for boss killing, she's not really the main girl for the job. And currently today, Fartooth is in tight place for a new 6 star. Because we're getting close to limited banner. That will not only consist of one limited operator, but also Rosmontis and W, as a rate of operators and are available in Spark Currency Shop. Which needless to say is a much more worthy option to spend your resources. But if you manage to get her, she will become a good operator in your roster. Both for veteran who might see her ability useful for their strategy. Or for newcomer if they need a strong DPS sniper. So grab your orundum, we got Polish nightclub to gacha. That should be all. Adios.